Okay, hello guys. Welcome back. I'm back to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update over my audio stuff. So I'm gonna just have the uh, holy Japanese version uh, covered by uh, Shane Ork and Ali Ork. So uh, yeah. So basically, a little bit has changed since the last time. So as far as the audio out, it's the same. You have that optical out in USB. Which goes into the field deck and gets converted to analog. But then we have changed out our DG002 with my Yamaha MG16XU instead. Which takes the RCA right into channel 13 slash 14 and then just sends it straight out the XLR. And since it's over here, in the sub amp. And that goes through the X32, like before. So that, I know this space is way better here. If you see back, it's fine. Although, yo, Ollie killed it on that, that or, uh, verse, right? Lord. So yeah, I have been thinking about actually connecting in my second... Uh, I have actually been thinking about hooking in my second 12-inch uh, back there. Just to see what happens. But yes, <laughs> that's the current audio setup right now. Uh, my plan is probably to either get, the, if I want to have a between point, probably what I'll do is just get something like an MG10 from Yamaha and have standing there to feed the RCA into and then that feeds out to my X32 again. Uh, of course the fiber optic is going to move into my, uh, it's going to move into my, uh, it's going to move into my, uh, um, it's going to move into my, uh, it's going to move into my, uh, that one is going to move into my, uh, uh, TV eventually. It's probably going to be plugged directly into my TV. And then the fiber optic is going to come out of the TV, go through the DAC, and then go into the mixer. So yeah, but so far she's good boy. Is this top sub, sub that is currently plugged? Well, I think it is just take a jump from the top sub into the bottom sub and see what happens. I don't know if I have bought the RCA cables, but I have RCA cables. But here we are. I'll probably change out the cable that is there though with those, probably. And then as far as my X32, it's how it always has been.
So that is just a unity feed straight out. Works very well. I can show you guys another track if you want to. I can show you guys, uh, let's see, Umbrella uh, Skelly Remix. So yeah, very, very good. Uh, one thing I do want to do though is go back to that other one real quick. And I want to turn on you.
We need something in this corner. This corner is a base trap and a half. Just turn those around. But yeah, I suppose that's really my update. Since, well, she's closest to the end of the level, so I'm gonna try to not blast people out of this house, but uh, yeah, that is uh, my update, really. We have changed to the Yamaha MG60 next year. Uh, where did that other adapter go? Or did I eat that across the floor? I don't know. It went somewhere. Well, I don't know where it went. This thing is half ass falling off again. But then that's... So yeah, so that's basically where we are. Last little thing to do... Really as far as the sofa is to put this one in here. And route the internet there. But yes, so far she works good. I said I may take and jump that second sub just to see. But for now she's going good. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys it a little bit more in depth after I've got some lights on here, so BRB. So basically here's the mixer. So basically it's straightforward really. We have my subwoofer out, my main out, my main left right. So my main left right obviously goes to my main left right. Then we got the subwoofer right here. These are sent equally into this thing. And then we got under here, we got this TV feed right here, which is just that Unity. Well, it's actually set to plus eight, yes. So it has a plus eight gain. Other than that, it's just nothing. It's just sent right to the main bus. I may take and make a bus. So eventually what I'll probably do is to set up. You know what? My original plan was to use a sound bar, but I think what I'm gonna do is move the TV bench out, move this one over to the other side, which is means I'm gonna have to redo a lot of my patches and shit. But move that one over there, and then have subwoofer for there, subwoofer for there, and then speaker, speaker. And then where is my uh, fucking slonky donk? Sure. So yeah. Well, no. So yeah. Because you know, the problem is, right now, the base is good, in one way, but the thing is, it's so uneven. It's like, I need something here to catch the base and send it back, because this is a base trap, this point pretty much. We want the base to be here and here, not there. So that's probably what I'll do, is move that over there. Because now we have a sofa here, it can actually absorb that base kind of, which means having it come back here shouldn't really be a problem. The main thing is gonna be that the amp is gonna have to move into the actual TV bench. 
En well, if we end up running a separate system here for that, and then another system for my actual studio stuff, that means the uh, that one is gonna have to pop into here. And then there's gonna have to be a separate mixer in there which takes care of the audio from that one. So that's kinda where we are at the moment. And then, well, there you can see the cable that goes into my sub. A dead well. Huh. Everybody knows back here. RCA, subwoofer in, blah 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 blah. All of that. This one is plugged in but not even in use at the moment. So I may actually move that around. But if I do, that means I'm gonna have to extend my van cable and everything. Which, well, the plan was to update that anyway to STP, so that's not the end of the world. And having the network act standing over there in one way or shape or form could actually be more beneficial. So yeah. In one day. So yeah. You know, initially I talked about just using a soundbar, but I mean, if I'm going to be honest, a soundbar and a wireless subtrace just don't sound the same like proper PA stuff. To be completely honest with you. So yeah, well anywho, I was just gonna wrap up the video there, I just wanted to make a quick video just kind of updating you guys on the audio situation. So we'll see what happens when I get the Bob D, some stuff for this is probably gonna be changed around. We'll see what happens, uh, it's still uploading the other video, uh, so yeah. So we'll see where we get to, but that's going to be it for this video guys, so thank you guys for watching, stay tuned to stay awesome, and Deco Live out.